Hi everyone, uh, this video is about uh, how I succeeded in installing the Pet Shop uh, project, uh, which is um, a use case, a project, a workshop that you can find directly on the truffelesuit.com uh, website. And um, I find it very cool because it helps you uh, to see uh, uh, one given use case of a blockchain and this is for uh, the adoption of PET. I think it's kind of uh, interesting if you want to start uh, to uh, understand and use uh, the blockchain. So here in this uh, tutorial, so now first of all, what, what is a truffle suit? So a truffle suit, as its name stands for it, is a suit, is a set, a package of different technologies that uh, you can use in order to uh, create and interact with an Ethereum blockchain. This is uh, this is what it is about. So of course, on their website, they are giving you different documentation in order uh, for you to be able to understand what blockchain is about and start to code uh, your first blockchain. Uh, so you have some requirements uh, which are listed here in order to get uh, to get started. Just to let you know that those requirements are in fact uh, highly demanded on uh, whatever development project uh, that you may have. Uh, so to say here, they're asking you for Node.js and npm. Both are uh, really um, easy to to install. Uh, Git as well. So Git is a uh, is a technology that you use in order to uh, be able to uh, deploy some uh, code, make some versioning and so on and so forth. And uh, one given use of Git is the famous uh, platform named, uh, named GitHub, which is uh, hosting a lot of uh, projects. And with Git, you can interact uh, with GitHub, but of course with, uh, with different platforms. So to say those are uh, different technologies which are very well known and, and useful for development. Uh, then what you'll need is to, of course, install Struffle. So npm install g in order to install globally it on uh, your computer, and then uh, you can start to go. Uh, next, what you need to do is that you need to create a directory, which is normal, and then you enter within it. Uh, here, Truffle unbox pet shop, and this is something that I didn't know before starting this project, is about, in fact, uh, doing kind of a git. So in fact, it's uh, calling out all the files which are necessary for the project and once you call truffle unbox pet shop this is where you start to have the directory that you just created filled in with all the different folder uh, that you need here so to say it's going to help you a lot of not creating everything from scratch and i've already uh, the first contract uh, created um, and the different uh, package and information that you need in order to set up the website that you have over here. Okay, uh, this is just the description of what contains this package. Next, uh, uh, in fact, they are not giving you the contract already written, so you will have to create one named adoption.sol and then you will have uh, to follow this, uh, this tutorial in order to copy and paste the different value. If you are struggling with the final result just to let you know that you can go directly on github look for in fact the final uh, contract the issue is that this contract has not been updated since a long time so you will have to change this value here and you will have as well uh, to correct this part uh, name addresses if not in any cases you will have the debug mode when you will start to uh, uh, publish let's say or migrate or compile uh, your contract which won't work and will ask you uh, to make some changes. So just to let you know, by following this part of the tutorial, plus looking at the one on GitHub, you will be able to get the contract file. It's it's not rocket science. Then you need to do a truffle compile. So truffle compile means that you're going to take the contract and you're going to make it an executable file in order to be read by the blockchain. Um, once it's done, then uh, you will need, in fact, to send your contract to the blockchain. The blockchain is rep uh, represented by Ganache, which is another technology that I will introduce uh, in a couple of seconds. So here uh, they are telling you to create another file that you put within migration in order to be able to deploy your contract on the blockchain. And the blockchain is represented, as I just mentioned, by Ganache. So Ganache is the following software, which uh, deploy, in fact, uh, local blockchain on uh, your computer. Then you do truffle migrate in order to send your contract to the blockchain and you have now in fact your contract on uh, the blockchain. Next is about uh, creating the user interface in order to interact with the smart contract. So you can go within uh, the directory which have been created it's within SRC and then uh, you get uh, all the file. But so far, in fact, the file that they are hosting for you, uh, which are over here, which are within uh, 
SRC. Okay, those files cannot yet be used because they do not contain yet um, the programming language, so to say the line of code in order to interact uh, with the blockchain. So this is what they are describing over here. So those are the different changes that you need to, to make. Um, those are kind of very easy to understand. It's just copy and paste. And once uh, you do so, then um, your website, so to say this one, is ready to interact with, with the rest. Uh, just to let you know that you cannot interact yet until you have uh, deployed the server. So in order to deploy the server, this is what you're going to have um, over here. Okay, Over here, when they're telling you that uh, you need to do npm run dev, npm run dev is the command in order to install a server on your computer and to get the local host uh, 2.3 thousand. Once uh, you are doing so, then uh, what you need is a client, so to say the possibility to be able to, uh, let's say, uh, use some Ethereum in order to make the different actions which are expected uh, on the website. And this is done thanks to uh, Metamask, which is a Firefox extension, which allow you to uh, link a wallet, so to say uh, a set of cryptocurrency, to the network and then to be able to make the purchases. So here, this is uh, what I did. Here I um, I have an account named account7, which has some Ethereum on it. How did I succeed to do it? Well, uh, this is not real money. In fact, uh, what I did is um, when I um, linked this with the network, uh, so my network is the following one. This is the one of Ganache. On Ganache, you get uh, over here the coordinates of the server in order to link it with MetaMask. And once uh, you do so, you have uh, you have on in Ganache, uh, you have in Ganache here, you get the, the keys and the keys, you have one which is private. And this private key can be used in order to import those fake 100 Ethereum on uh, the wallet over here. So this is what I did over here. Now my account is in fact, it's one of those accounts, which is the 0x uh, e something, 0x e something, which should be uh, one of those. It's just probably that it has not yet been, um, I guess it has not been restarted or something like this. And that's the reason why we don't see the money coming through. Uh, I could, I guess, restart the server, okay, and 0xc2, I guess that's going to be this one. You see, this one has performed some transaction, it's just the balance is not uh, correct yet. So I'm going to make some purchases here, and I guess it's going to work. So it's ending up by 347, I guess that's the one. Okay, so this one uh, is going to make some transactions, so, so far the balance is this one. Uh, let's imagine that I want to uh, acquire uh, Leticia. For example, I'm going to click over here. It's going to automatically uh, make MetaMask React. So this is account 7. And this is, in fact, the account, the 0x6a57. 57 should be, I don't know which one it is. Well, that's something, uh, probably that's the contract or something like this. That's probably the contract. That's why we are not seeing the money coming through. But that's the one which is uh, all. Ah, oh, okay. There's no money, I guess, involved because the adoption is for free. So just recording, in fact, the transaction, which is of zero Ethereum. That's probably that's the the purpose here. That there's no purchase of dogs. It's just the adoption. So let's adopt this one. Uh, then it's going to ask me to confirm the transaction. So I'm going to click over here and confirm. Transaction 3 confirm view on Etherscan. So I can click over here. And so this one is not linked with Etherscan, but I can see it. So this one is in the queue. Okay. Uh, confirm and pending. Okay. Transaction 4 confirm. And here I see, in fact, uh, the activity of the different. Um, adoption that I made with this uh, with this account. So here uh, amount, gas limit and so on and so forth. Here transaction created. So here the, uh, the adoption happened. We can clearly see it here that it has been a success. Uh, it's going to be then uh, recorded as you can see over here within the within the, the blockchain. 
here is just kind of funny to see that the number of Ethereum is not uh, going down, probably just because, I don't know, this is just some gas which are, uh, which are involved, not sure, but just to let you know that the full tutorial explain uh, work if you follow it carefully and if you just um, do the little thing that they explain in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.